Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the newest limited banner unit added to Snowbreak, Tess the Magician. Tess the Magician is a five-star support unit that excels at ultimate energy generation. Her standard skill, Card Trick Surprise, have a variety of random effects and the effect you get will depends on which color card is used, allowing her to use all of our current elements. To help with the randomness of this skill, her Neuronics enhancements will allow her to cycle through the cards when she lands a precision hit, and grants a 10% skill damage buff that stacks up to five times when using consecutive cards of the same color. The buff reset the second, a card of a different color is used. So I would not recommend you play into that gimmick unless you really needed a specific element to roll. Her support skill, Lovely Assistant will grant the on-field operative a 30% electrical damage buff that dilutes over time. Her Neuronics enhancements will remove the electric damage restrictions and allow the damage buff to match the damage type of the on-field operative's weapon. In addition, while the support skill is active, the following effects can be trigger based on the elemental damage dealt to the enemy once per operative. The effects are as follows. Electrical, inflicts paralyzed, chaos, inflicts slow, Kinetic, inflicts stunned, frost, inflicts frozen and thermal, inflicts burn. Her ultimate hidden world of magic is the bread and butter of her kit. Once cast, Tess will conceal herself within her Hall of Phantasm for 30 seconds. When the on-field operative attack, she will launch a coordinated attack after them from the illusion realm and recover ultimate energy for the team. Once her ultimate time ends, it will consume any remaining ultimate energy. Her Neuronics enhancements will allow her to provide additional benefits to the team and herself, based on how much ultimate energy was consumed when Hidden World of Magic ended, but they are nothing major. Her passive, Crowd Pleaser, will increase the team's ultimate and skill energy recovery by 20%, and will further increase it by 5% for every 100 alignment index she possesses while off the field. Speaking of alignment index, her free-to-play weapon, the Wasp will provide her with a 393-point boost to her alignment index. In addition, it will also allow her to gain more ultimate energy while in her Hall of Phantasm. For other four-star options, Deep Sea's Call and Infernal Decade are okay, but you should just get her best free-to-play option from the shop. Eccentric Joker is going to be her best in slot. It will increase the maximum ultimate energy cap of the team by 24%. Increase ultimate energy recovery and provide a damage buff to on-field operative after the wielder cast their ultimate, in addition to a plus 539 points to her alignment index. The Hjartegard squad will provide 40% more ultimate energy recovery and a 20% bonus damage to the entire team after the equip operative casts their ultimate for 25 seconds. If another operative casts their ultimate while the buff is active, it will further increase by 25%. For talents, stack up as much ultimate energy recovery and alignment index as you can. When it comes to manifestations, the first three will make her ultimate energy even more consistent. She is pretty good even at M0, so anything more would only make her better. For team comps, tests can be used by any team that have a high energy requirement or one that requires their ultimate to function in their full capacity. A team with the Magician and Shadow K can be paired with Winter Solstice, Ethereal Cloud, or Life Wild Hunt to devastating effect. You can replace Shadow with Frisha Hush, equipped with Strawberry Shortcake, and Shill operates at the same capacity as Tess's signature weapon. Pretty much any team that can make use of the extra energy recovery rate will benefit greatly from Tess. Now that you have a better understanding of her kit, here is the game plan. Tess begin every fight with her ultimate primed and ready to go. The goal is to use her ultimate to battery your main DPS. Let's go ahead and see how long it will take to get our Wild Hunt's 100 energy ultimate up without the Magician.
As you guys can see and likely know, it takes an eternity to build ultimate charge. Now let's use the magician and see how long it takes us. And that right there is the appeal to this character, especially in boss encounters. Pair her with Shadow Ka and Winter Solstice and you have yourselves a recipe for disaster. But ultimately, I suppose it's up to you to decide whether or not she is worth your summons. Yeah.